Hey guys, this is TK. In this video, we are going to take a look at configuring ASA clustering. And we have two ASAs, and these two ASAs are connected in Gig03 each other, and we are going to use that as a cluster control link. And from these two ASAs, we are going to create a, a port channel, a single port channel towards the VSS, and we are going to use Gig00, Gig01 on each uh, ASA to do that. So in this video we are going to just create a, a simple cluster and uh, probably on the next video let's set up the interfaces in multiple contexts and uh, go from there. So let's set up the, uh, the ASA cluster. Okay, I'm going to configure the ASA1 uh, which will be the cluster master. The first thing I'm going to change the mode on this cluster uh, to uh, to set up the interface mode to span. And I'm going to force that configuration. And let's go ahead and configure that port channel that's going to bundle uh, these four ports on both ASAs. and this port channel is going to be a, a span cluster port channel let's assign the interfaces Port channel 1, span cluster. And these are the member interfaces. Okay, let's go ahead and bring up our cluster control link, Gig03. And let's set up the cluster group. and this needs to be a unique name uh, to the entire cluster uh, of ASAs and we need to identify the local unit hostname and define the cluster uh, control link which is kick 3 and let's set up the IP for this link and priority uh, between 1 to 100 1 being the highest and 100 being the lowest since this unit is going to be the cluster master I'm going to set this as 1 We could also configure uh, the console replicate so all the uh, the console messages on uh, the slave unit uh, will be replicated to the master unit. And let's check the the cluster configuration so far. And let's go ahead and enable this cluster. Let's go ahead and configure the, the second ASA. Let's bring up the cluster control link. Also let's specify the, uh, the cluster mode. and let's uh, configure the cluster group and join this unit to the existing cluster
let's check uh, the cluster configuration on the slave unit alright so let's go ahead and enable that and you see it start replication from the master and when it's done it's going to inherit the host name and all the other configurations from the master ASA2 turns into ASA1 on the, the slave let's uh, issue uh, some show commands to verify the cluster show cluster info will give us a summary of the the state uh, the interface mode span and uh, the ASA1 which is this unit is the master and ASA2 which is this unit is the slave and also we can uh, issue some uh, more information on uh, packet distribution connection tables etc. Also uh, there's another option that you can execute commands cluster wide using cluster exec uh, say for example if you want to see the port channel configurations on both of these cluster clus uh, cluster members you can do cluster exec then you can issue the command this will break it down based on the unit ASA1 the port channel which is up and ASA2 port channel you can pretty much issue any command you want uh, cluster wide and it will break it down uh, based on the uh, the unit okay so this is a, a really simple uh, cluster configuration and next video let's set up uh, the multiple context and assign these interfaces into um, into admin context and uh, check some data plane uh, connectivity thank you so much